RC Sport Radio Control Command New Bright uh, Ferrari. That's the one I bought. So I'm going to make the uh, collar, Predator collar decoy for the coyotes. And there you have the, the top comes off there. The top comes off that. So just the control. And this is all control right there. And this is the part I need and the motor. So there's two motors in there. One in front and one in the back, so we got a spare motor. And there's only 11 bucks, 12 bucks. So there you go. I'm also able to make a uh, decoy with that. Now I got the, the wheels, the screws, the on screws. There's only a little screw goes in there. This, this one right here goes in the wheel and these screws on right there so I, I got that one taken off now and as you can see down inside there's a little X so this part here unclips from that part which is ideal and we got a spare in a little spare motor up here uh, and E would be ideal too so and that one there you can see what see how that one works this is the antenna so you take that off and he'd be ideal because he's off center. And this one back here, well I got him disconnected now, so I'm gonna take that one and uh, he just clips in there like that. So that's the some of the stuff that you're gonna need. And even if you had to go to Walmart, the radio shack could be spending the fortune. So that's the motor there and a the motor there. Ideal stuff for uh, make a decoy. Okay. RC Sport Ferrari. That's what it's called. Walmart. Now there's a couple of clips. One right there and one right there. And all you just slide them over with a pair of pliers and a pair of pliers and clip that there. Snick that off. And snick that one. And the whole unit should disassemble. So. You should be able to pry that up here. Yep. And that's that unit. That's right off. That unit is right out. So we now got a, a motor that you can put down into something. And that there will go around so you can put a little pivot on this to move the machine around. So there's one, and there's your control. This right there we need in the battery pack. So now we got the it's a remote control module or whatever and it takes three AAs and this is the motor right here we can use this one or we can take this one right here out of the front and use that one and put it down into a little plastic type thing right. now the, this, these two parts separate so I got a battery pack and this part goes back onto the 
battery pack on the be on the back part like this. So we'll like this. So we'll do that now. So now we got the batteries installed and we've got the remote the module on and the antenna. And here is the rear axle with the wheels removed and the motors inside encased as you can see. So I'm going to connect the motor. You can connect it to this end right there. There's a connector and there's another connector on this end. So you can put it on either end. So I'm going to try it on this end anyway. So I got it connected right there. Now we're going to just see if that'll work with this spring. If it does, we're in business. And there's the uh, remote control. It's only on the side, one side works. Okay, so now this is turn the switch on, switch is on, and this is the side that the the piece of fur is going to go on. It's going to stick up out of the out of the little thing that I'm going to put it in. And there it is. Goes both ways, so this will be perfect. Eleven ninety-five. Now yeah, that's that. I'll put a smaller piece of fur on in that too. So, you know, that's it. Let's go get find something to put it in. The module mounted in the uh, in a little piece of box that I'm making up with the hot glue gun, and this is only a prototype. So, let's see if it works. So I can mount it in something later on. Anyway, this the outlet right there. That's where the that thing should turn. Okay, so now I got the the rim or the the axle put on the wheel, put on screwed on. So normally I just put a little piece of wake up, but I'm going to glue that on. Hot glue that on right there. Now, sit that on there. I'll we'll put on a little spring later on when I get to the main one and done. Anyway, try that and see now. Alright. Move it off center, so this is what I wanted. And blow the noise. And there it is with my camouflage Tyvek put on it. And that's it. Now I have to take a bit of fur and uh, fur and hot glue gun and stick a bit on there. And a bit on there. There. And there. Right there. And another bit on there. That's his tail part. And right there. And glue it this little part right there a little bit. That'll be his nose. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll see if it works. There's our little decoy made from a Ferrari toy from Walmart. And there's a couple of uh, collars that I made there out of a, out of a uh, horn, loose horn. This, this one there is, this one there is, a, is the best one that I got there.
You got a lot of torn there. This is the one I use for coyote. Anyway, this is my uh, decoy. Back to it. This is my decoy. <laughs> and it's made from a toy car. Remote control. Yep, out. Oh. One little item I got left. Well, you haven't got no long ears, but uh, I gotta put a pink nose on the little bugger. There's his little nose. Now oh, that's it, he's complete. And this is a clamp I made for my flip video co cam quarter. This is just a piece of flex hose and it's uh, screwed onto a clamp. And I take that in with me and just flicks, uh, flicks it onto a limb of a tree and, and stitch my camera up. And that's it. That works like a charm for watching the coyotes.